Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and I just did a dark smoky eye. Um, I'm really excited because I finally got my lighting and I think you guys can probably tell because I, it looks 10 times better and the, the colors are pretty true to color. So I'm really happy about that. I got that for a great deal. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Bye. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyes with this NYX eye shadow base in 03. And I'm just going to take that and place it all over my lid. And up in my, on my brow bone. Okay, so the eyeshadows I'm going to be using are these Wet n Wild eyeshadows in the color Comfort Zone, and I'm going to be using this kind of bronzy, dark purple side. It's got a bronze color, um, and then like a brown color, and this color is like a dark, dark purple color with like, I don't know, like gold shimmer. I'll show you guys, I'll open it so you guys can see it better. I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna be using this one. I'm just gonna be using this one, this one, and this one. See, it's not a gorgeous color, and these are so pigmented. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking this Sony Kashuk bamboo brush, and I'm gonna be dipping it in this bronzy color. And just placing this right on my lid. And I'm only going to go about three quarters of the way. I like your eyes. Thank you. Okay, so then I'm going to take this color right here. And they actually say eyelid crease and define. So it's pretty, I mean, you can't really mess it up. And I'm just gonna take my Real Techniques large crease brush and I'm just gonna buff that right in my crease. I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. blending brush and I'm just going to blend that out. And soften all the harsh lines. Not make it so, so dark. Okay, just like that. And then I'm going to be taking this little My Glam brush, and I'm gonna dip that in this dark purpley color. And I'm just gonna put that right on the outer V. I'm like just kind that of dab there. it right there. And right there. That's so dark on that. And then drag it down to about, let's say, a quarter of the way. Just like, see how dark that is? It's got a lot of fallout, too. I'll clean that up at the end. And then I'm going to take my blending brush again. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of fallout. And I'm just going to blend that out. Just work it until it gets to the point. Mm. 
that you like it. Okay, so then after that's blended out, I'm gonna go back in with my Sony Kashuk eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna take this eyelid color again right here and I'm just gonna put the place that back on there just to brighten it up a little bit just like that okay. and then I'm just gonna blend that in So then I'm going to be taking the Wet n Wild color, matte color in Brulee and placing that as my highlight and in my inner, in, in the inner corner of my eye. And the reason I'm going to use this matte is because all the eyeshadows I've used are shimmer and you really don't want to use a shimmer highlight if you're going to use shimmer eyeshadow in your crease and on your eyelid. So, I'm just going to put this right in the crease here, or I mean in the corner, and down my eyelid, and then I'm just going to put it right up here, and as I put it up here, I'm also blending down a little bit to get rid of that harshness. Just like that. Okay. And then one more time, I'm gonna take this and just blend that all out. <laughs> Blending is key, so I basically just redid all the steps over again. Just like that. Then I'm going to be taking this Real Techniques, um, what is this, a Pixel Point Eyeliner Brush. And I'm just going to be dabbing that in the dark color down here. This one. And I'm just going to take that and place it right under. like that and just the excess I'll just put right here then I'm gonna take my elf liquid eyeliner and this is this is only a dollar so and I'm really loving it my Lorac is about to run out so I just thought I'd use this So we're just going to line our eye. curl my eyelashes and I'm just using my um, tweezer man curler eyelash curler Wait, use this one I use this one and this is a no but pinch eyelash curler, really curler and I'm loving it because I can get right down to my root this one really nicely really and then I'm just gonna be using my L'Oreal voluminous full definition Sure. 
And then I'm gonna be putting this CoverGirl Lash Blast on top. Mm. Yes, I'm doing my weird eyelash blowing technique. Mm. <laughs> okay, so then I'm just gonna add. Where's the mirror? Oops, dropped it, sorry. Where's the mirror? Add a layer of that. Where's the mirror? Mm. Mommy, where's the mirror? Just like that. Where's that mirror? Where's that mirror? Okay, so now I'm just gonna add my blush and I'm just gonna be using Max Melba. And it's just a matte, really pretty pink corally color. And I'm just gonna take my Real Techniques blush brush, dab that in. Whoa! Just put that on the apples of my cheeks and blend upward towards the corner of my eye. Just like that. And then the last thing I'm gonna be doing is putting on my La Creme lipstick in Naked Dolly. And it just looks like this. And that is the look. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. I will show you guys a little kind of closer up. There it is. And I really hope you guys will try this look out. Um, it's very simple, all drugstore products. I don't, I got that um, Wet n Wild palette a while ago, so I don't know if they still have that or not, but I'm, I mean, I would go check because it was probably like, I think it was $4.99, so for like eight eyeshadows, which is a really good deal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.